hi it's Carl again uh, just to share my uh, experience really around what are different um, species of Japanese maize pool as opposed to what are different cultivars so this this word crops up um, very often that a maple is a particular cultivar or words are used like this selection was made by this nursery in America or Holland or something like that. So just to sort of show you an introduction to this, what's over the back here is a natropoporium, which I've, I think I mentioned before is, it's almost like the wolf of maples, it's, it's a generic one. And the species of this maple is Acer palmatum. Um, palmatum because it's like a hand really, it's got five lobes coming off a central point. So five fingers, sort of palmatum style. We just wanted to take note of the shape of these leaves and the, and the colour and what they actually look like in detail. What you'll see is they're sort of, it's a very even sort of hand really, all the fingers are kind of, they, they vary gently towards the end. Um, but particularly that central leaf there, uh, it's a bit like your own hand. Um, that, that central leaf is the, the central finger is the longest one. So that's sort of very common, that's very natural, that's how you'd expect to, to find things. Uh, there's another atropoprium over there. Again, you've got that consistency. So this particular cultivar is, I think it's fair to say, obviously pretty closely rel related to that one there. This is called Tawambi's uh, Red Sentinel. So in many ways, the leaves are very similar. The characteristics are, you know, very like the Atropoporium. What you can see though, is that the habit of the tree is really different. So whereas that one is obviously branching out into a sort of more normal tree-like structure, those two are, Tawambi's Red Sentinel, um, just wants to head skyward it just loves to grow up so here we've got some new growth here just to show you that's lovely typical sort of midsummer growth spurt going on there um, so where's this come from it was found by a mr twomby in america i think 20 25 years ago so in this case uh mr twomby's walking through a selection of aces and a seedling that's from a more conventional acer has mutated if you like and this is what's happened so it's the same species it's an acer palmatum with sort of similar uh, heredity to the others but suddenly it's got a, a rather different a rather interesting characteristic i just want you to note as well if you look on some of the leaves here that central node there there isn't kind of pointed it's rounded off and I have no idea exactly why this happens I'm not a biologist but it's absolutely clear that where you get these more unusual um, cultivars these sort of genetic errors if you like that create different shaped aces they could be dwarf shaped they could grow vertically there's, there's different characteristics like that you often find some of these with a little nub on them so part of the genetic error um, is captured and, and sort of it shows itself, if you like, with that sort of little, little strange mistake here. But that's a cultivar. So yes, again, Acer palmatum. It's still got the five, the five fingered leaves, if you see what I mean. But most definitely, a cultivar. So another species of maple walk over here would be this Siriu. So Siriu is uh, a particular cultivar of the species Acer dissectum. So it's a, it's a different group entirely you might say. Um, we've got a very sort of feathery sort of bushy kind of look to the um, to the tree and certainly not like very different to the Sangukaku leaf that's over there. So this 
I, as far as I understand it, it is a different species. It sort of stems from Acer dissectum dissectum, which is the sort of wild version of this, if you like, a sort of generic version. But Siriu um, is really unusual because every other maple of its type uh, of this species weeps where this one doesn't. So it has this odd mutation where it actually grows up and forms a nice tree-like structure as opposed to a sort of weeping mound structure. Um, so that's why this cultivar was found and selected. So the reason I think they're called selections is not because they've been bred, like perhaps roses have been crossed with other roses for particular reasons. It's a bit like if you took 10,000 seedlings and of, of its parent um, and kept checking and looking at checking out every single one maybe a rogue one does something really different really unusual um, and this this can be the result you've actually created something that's not sorry not created you've found something that is significantly different so if we just take a little walk down here now and just to sort of add some clarity this is Ryusen so Ryusen is definitely an Acer um, palmatum. It's, it's still got the five-fingered leaves. That's a really key attribute to it. And yet its habit is to weep downwards. So even though it's got a really different characteristic and a different habit, it is fundamentally still Acer palmatum. And then going through the other ones, that's still an Acer dissectum. That one's Crimson Queen, and so on and so forth. When you get to this one here, this is Cotoneto, one of my favourites. Uh, one I spotted on my other video of um, in Dorset as well. This indeed is Acer palmatum. And what you can see is the leaves are still five sort of fingered, but very, very long fingers. So on the particular cultivar, they've sort of miraculously turned into these linolobium uh, kind of leaves as they're called and over time they seem to sort of stretch out and grow thinner and thinner to make almost like a, a bamboo style leaf but nonetheless um, in fact the label is really buried it's, it's really done really well here so there we are coating into acer palmatum um, just showing you that you know it doesn't particularly perhaps look like a palmatum, but it really is. In the same way that the Jerry Swartz has lots of you know leaves piled on top of themselves. But again, it's, it's a palmatum. So just taking a short walk down here. What I also have one of is um, this is a cross of two other aces actually neither of which are palmatum or dissectum um, you can look at the names or I can't remember but it's it's called conspicuum the resulting cross of two aces is called conspicuum and this is also known as the snake bark maple so this is a different uh, species it's still an acer it still comes under the category acer but it's a sort of cousin, a more distant cousin really. So where the first two I showed you were almost like different brothers and sisters, this is a, a more distant relative of kind of the same, but still of the same, the same family background. So this is a really interesting one actually and something really different. So again, I'm just sharing this because when I started out, it really confused me and I thought, well, it tells Ace of Palmatum to the real stuff. That's what I want, that's a, a proper Japanese maple not really the case there are different species as well uh, I'd say the ace of palmatums are most definitely the sort of most common ones with a multitude of cultivars from them so just moving on to uh, another fern favorite we have ace of Shuraswanum. so this is a different species again um, they're sort of palmate leaves but as you can see uh, one two three four five six seven so they're seven fingered leaves which by definition, when there is a different classification, it's a different species. So the, 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 the number of fingers on the leaf is, is obviously absolutely critical to 
the species you actually have. So that's um, Jordan, which is that particular Shiraswanum. The one I bought recently is Orium. So another variation. So Jordan, Orium, and indeed Moonrise over here are all cultivars of Asia Shiraswanum. And that last, not, last but not least, you also have here another Acer. That's Acer Grisium. So this is the paper bar maple. So I'm going to upload a video fairly soon, I hope, or at least some pictures of what I've taken um, in a place called Batsford. But this is... Um, quite unusual one it's as you can see from its habit it's grow it's outgrowing those around it because it's fast growing and it's growing upright you can see it's making huge headway but that was a very interesting species of Acer um, brought into this country from China many many years ago but when they're actually reasonably mature the bark on these things is pretty amazing I do apologize the focus there we are. You can just sort of see that bark is peeling. It's sort of coming away, and that's exactly what it does, which is rather impressive, really. Um, but yes, a, a, a different um, species. So yeah, just to summarise, you can have lots of shapes and sizes of aces. You can have pinky leaves, green leaves. You can have weird curly leaves variegated leaves but they're palmatums if they've kind of got five fingers on them this is trompenberg which have curled over things but again it's the same um, species you've got ones here which is a dissectum which is lovely in its own way too but something different and then actually there's probably hundreds of more species but these are the ones that seem to get chosen and again, they're not manufactured really, um, they're found. Things like Shana, um, which is another one, or there are others, uh, is actually found as what's called a witch's broom. So a witch's broom is where you've got a, Shana was found in a tree that's probably 100 years old, somewhere in America. And um, it was growing on the tree. It's, it's one branch that kind of went crazy and turned out to be um, something really rather different. And of course with trees, you cut that branch off, um, you propagate off that, and then they found out they got something really rather interesting. So just talking about uh, Bartholomew, I think that's how you pronounce it, from uh, Dorset. They, I spoke to the lady there, she's been doing this for 40 years, growing all sorts of seedlings to act as rootstock. And the total number of seedlings that turned out to be interesting enough to turn into and, and sort of call a different cultivar was precisely 10. So it just shows you actually um, that indeed you, every tree will be different from another tree if it's a seedling, but how many actually turn out to be that interesting that you'll want to cultivate it? Um, very few. You could, in a sense, call every single different seedling another cultivar, but you'd just be left with huge numbers of things that look virtually the same. And just to close, really, I, I don't know this, I can't verify it, but one that's on her list has been of the cultivators that they found is Firecracker. And there it is, it's sort of commonly available now. So if that naming convention has been held, uh, it could be, I need to check with her, that that actually is a... A tree, that was just a tree that was discovered by themselves. So I hope that's uh, added, not added confusion, but removed some. Um, just to distinguish between species and cultivars, really. But to me, they're all valid. Um, if they look great, they look great. And they all have a place um, in our gardens. So take care, and we'll see you soon. Um, thanks so much for the people that have liked and subscribed.
really unexpected. As I said, I only started doing this for a, for a friend really to pass some videos to them. And also for those that have uh, started to ask a few questions. I mean, I'm no expert, but I'll try and help if I can. And I, I, I want to learn more as well. So um, if we can keep this communication going, it's, it's, it's absolutely fantastic in this day and age. You can talk to people from all over the world. Um, just, uh, just delightful really. So take care. Um, if you know anyone that might be interested in ACES and stuff or whatever, then uh, spread the word. And we'll see you soon. Cheers then. Bye.